Hi everyone, glad to see you on my channel. Today I want to share an interesting observation with you. Many were surprised by the introduction of the notch in MacBook Pro back in 2021. And since then, the entire current MacBook lineup from Air to Pro comes with it. Now the notch itself wouldn't be a big issue, if everything around it made logical sense. But sometimes macOS logic is questionable. For example, the edge disk option is placed right above the erase disk button. What if you click the wrong one. That's far from ideal. And it's the same with the notch. There is no much point in hiding the menu bar in full screen mode anymore. You don't gain more screen space at the top, so it would actually make more sense to always keep the menu bar visible. That way you have constant access to useful info instead of black strip. So it's more logical to set automatically hide and show the menu bar to never. But here is some problem. Let's say you are about to watch your favorite movie or a YouTube video in full screen. Well, the menu bar stays there, it won't go away, unless you manually switch it back to always. Every time, that's just annoying. But there is a solution. You can actually customize how the menu bar behaves for each app individually, using the terminal. Let me show you how to do that, using the video player as an example. First, open settings. Go to Control Center and make sure automatically hide and show the menu bar is set to never. Now when you open any app you will see all the useful info like CPU temperature, time, battery, always visible. Great! But when you play a movie in some video player in full screen, the same info says there. Let's fix it. We will open terminal and use this command. Just replace name of app with the actual name of the application you want to configure. For example, if you are using INA with double I, you would type INA instead of name of app. This will return the app's bundle ID, which you will need for the next step. Once we know bundle ID, we will run a second command that sets its full screen behavior. For our video player, we want the menu bar to disappear in full screen. Replace ID of app with the Our Apps Bundle ID. Run the command, relaunch the app, and let's test it. Perfect! Now the menu bar hides in full screen, just like it should be. You can also force an app to always show the menu bar in full screen, no matter what the system settings is, by this command. Now the menu bar is always hidden. But in the same time, in the specific app, the menu bar is always on. And if you want to undo it later to default, just run this command and remove the settings. Now what about YouTube? Let's say you want the menu bar in full screen for most browser content, but not for YouTube. There is a workaround. Just create a standalone YouTube web app using Safari. Go to YouTube, then click File, add to Dock. Now you have a YouTube web app, and you can set a custom full screen behavior for it using the bundle ID of Safari web app. We will run a command that sets its full screen behavior. But we should instead of the ID of app. Enter the bundle ID of Safari Web App, which is com.apple.safari.webapp. Let's try it out. Perfect. 
Now we can watch YouTube in full screen without the menu bar, just like it should be. At the same time, if we open Safari in full screen, the menu bar will still be visible. Thanks for watching, my friends. All the commands are listed in the video descriptions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.